camp. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I want to thank them for inviting me. You know, I'm really excited of the, of the direction of the program. Really excited. And to be honest with you, I haven't felt that way for a long time. Uh, you know, I haven't felt good about the program in a long time. And I'm really, really excited. You know, uh, you, you, you want to see your program do better. Uh, I'm proud of the new facilities. But I think the main thing, I'm excited about the enthusiasm of the coaching staff. Uh, I mean, they really want to turn this thing around. They really want to turn this thing around. Uh, so I'm just excited, to be honest with you. What does it mean to you to, to kind of, I guess, to be asked to be a part of things and try to, you know, like a camp like this? Is, it, is that pretty Well, cool? you know, first of all, I'll do anything they ask me to do. <clears throat> you know, I'll do anything they ask me to do. You know, to be honest with you, it hasn't been a lot of fun. Probably hasn't been a lot of fun for you guys either. <laughs> you know, let's be honest. You know, it can't be fun. Losing sucks. And I told told them I'd do anything they asked me to do. I mean, you know, me and Chuck talk quite a bit. You know, it's just been frustrating and, and honestly embarrassing. And the thing that make it even worse is the SEC hasn't been very good. And for the SEC not to be good and Auburn to be part of that, uh, it's just been very frustrating. What is it about these guys that makes you believe that they can do what others have? Well, they, first of all, they've got a great track record. Uh, their track record. Uh, that, that, that's, that's the bottom line, their track record. Uh, but I think they have really reached out to some of the older players, uh, which we want to be part of the program. You know, uh, to be honest, this is the first time they've ever reached out to us, to be honest with you. I mean, we want our school to do well. We First of all, let me repeat that. We want basketball to do well. You know, we're proud of what the football team accomplished, but we still want Auburn basketball to be better. Uh, and I really thank, thank them for reaching out to us. You know, we want to be part of this. Talk about the talent level that's here today. <laughs> I mean, think about that. I don't think, think about the talent level here. I don't remember, even when I played here, coming to an event or a camp or whatever you want to phrase it that had this much top level talent. I mean, think about that. I mean, I've been doing down here, you know, for a long time. But from a realistic standpoint, I don't remember having this caliber of players even wanting to come down here. I think you got to give the coaching staff a lot of credit. You know, I met a couple guys who are already committed to Auburn, and they're telling me about who these all these different guys are. I think you'd be hard pressed to remember another time we even had those type of players who wouldn't even take the time to come to Auburn, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. You know, Auburn, you know, if you go back and I don't remember a bunch of high recruits being down here before. Now they, like I said, they're telling me who some of these guys are. I think it's pretty cool that they even come down here. No. Charles, were you ever were you able to watch any of the season or any of Auburn last year? Tony's first year here. Well, I don't count the first year, even even for any coach, because there's a reason the last coach got fired. You know, so I don't count that year. To me, and and I, and I know it's, it's it really technically it's Tony's first year, but I always tell people there's a reason that other guy got fired. He don't have enough good players, but you know Tony's had a chance to recruit. And I expect them to be much better this year, you know. You know, but like I say, I, I think it's unfair to judge any coach by the coach who them players just got his got him fired. So he really hasn't had a recruiting cycle. Uh, but as I said last year when I was down here or somewhere at the SEC, 
I know that that team got better. If you look at that team in the beginning to the end, they had some good wins down the stretch, and they lost a lot of close games. That tells me the players didn't, didn't pack it in. You know, that's what I was watching more than anything. You know, you see they were very competitive down the stretch. And that's not easy when you're on a bad team because a lot of players, are, you know, they're just going through the motions. So when you watch that team play at the beginning to, to late in the season, you could tell, like, oh, this, he, he's got those kids engaged. And that, that's, that was really what I was watching. You know, a lot of teams pack it in. Uh, I mean, you know, teams do pack it in. Do you think Tony's happy at Auburn? I do. But I, I think that, uh, yeah, I do think he's he's happy here. I mean, I think that he's excited about the new arena. Uh, I, I, first of all, there's a great vibe around Auburn right now with the football stuff. Right. I don't think how you, you can't be excited. Uh, I think it's impossible as a, as an Auburn person. Uh, there's just great energy uh, around here right now. I mean, it's going to be interesting. You know, it's going to be tough on the football team losing so much. I mean, you, you could, I don't think you can replace players that great that easily. Right. You know, Coach Hitty did a fantastic, fantastic job. But, you know, Cam Newton don't grow on trees <laughs> and, and Nick Farrelly. So that's going to be very difficult. But there's just a great energy around here right now. When you look back at your time here, mm -hmm. at, at one time or another while you I, you were here, you you and Chuck, yeah, Bo Jackson, oh yeah, all all, all here at the same time. When you, when uh, Frank you look Thomas, back at, Frank Thomas, yeah. You know, I spent a week with Bo, uh, actually, and uh, we have this running dialogue. We were up in, in Canada playing golf all week, uh, and we both called each other number two, which <laughs> there's a great debate on who's the best jock in Auburn history. <laughs> and we had so much fun. You know, we were up at uh, Joe, Tur Joe Carter's golf tournament, and Bo had got there a day before me, so he had everybody, when I checked in the hotel, called me, hey, number two, and I just died laughing the whole time. Because every time I see him, I say, hey, number two. But, you know, he's always been a good friend. But, and I t I've told people, Watching Bo Jackson play football was, is one of the highlights of my life. But, you know, you never realize, uh, man, Auburn is, like I said, not to butter anybody, but Auburn is a very unique place. It's a big school with a small town feel. Like, clearly, it, I said, you know, you never think it's 20,000 students here when you're here. Right. I mean, it's just like a really, and, it, and it's an exploded, you know, new construction, but you always feel like it's special when you're here.